Hello everyone, this is Jeff at ExcaliburWebsites.com. I'm going to show you how, with the new Thrive Architect and the new Thrive Leads, you can integrate that with Drip Email Automation Software. Now, a couple of things I'm going to show you in advance. You need to have be a member of Thrive Themes here. I may go through some of this fairly quickly to save time and then um, you need to have Thrive Leads. I made a new website called immediatemillionaire.com right here. That's the Thrive Leads pop-up anyway. So I made a completely new website. Right, you can see have hardly any plugins. As soon as we see plugins here, you see Thrive Dashboard down there right now. I'll, throw it, I'll show you that in a second. All I have is a Kismet, which comes with it e marketing, email marketing by Drip, limit login attempts, our Thrive Architect, Thrive Leads, and WP Smush. On Thrive Dashboard, Got API connections. I'll show you. I got Thrive Leads, Thrive Architects, and I was trying to learn this Ignition theme. So check our API connections. You got to set that up with Drip. All right? You need to have your um, work. You need to have a Drip account set up first. I have a couple. This is what it looks like on the home page. Um, I'm already a subscriber. You can have first 100 subscribers are free. You see there's my main site, ExcaliburWebsites.com. And we're testing with ImmediateMillionaire.com. So what I'm going to try to do here first is a couple things at once. I'm going to try. These are all my emails. Don't you dare spam me. Uh, I it worked with this one, CerberusWeb1 at Gmail.com uh, for the uh, integration through like the custom fields you'll see. It's also worked over here with setting Thrive to go in through campaigns, which you'll see also here. So the goal is to get a certain email subscriber, like some weirdo geek like yourself, to receive your emails from Drip right, after they've come in through Thrive. So you'll see. So Thrive Leads. And so I have it set up. Feel free to rewatch this. You'll probably have to. I've got a lead group here and just a new website. Trying to keep it really simple. The light box is going to pop up. Display on desktop. Display on mobile. And click here. Showing it on every page probably for testing. Front page, all pages, and all posts. Save and close. Then into the form. I just picked a standard form and choose it to display after one second because on desktop you don't want to display on page load because it'll slow you down and um, it'll trip up Google or alert Google. So um, yeah, other ways to display this anyway. Testing all the time. Usually it's good to set it once a day, but zoom in. Here's going to go into the form. This is the new Thrive Architect interface here. It's usually faster. I've got Camtasia going, so um, you probably can't hear my CPU fan going the whole time. I clicked on the sign up thing here, I'm integrating Drip, clicking on Edit. Now, the two ways you can do this you can add to a campaign, which works really quickly and um, is a bit limiting. As you understand this, I have it set up to record a custom event. I had to talk to uh, the people at Trip, and also um, Kirk. I think his name is Kirk B. And one of the Thrive Themes members also told me to um, use updated a custom field. This is in the edit the trigger. Anyway, remember to update a custom field. You can see over here. This is what I sent to Drip on my request, but. Put in Thrive custom field. You can put whatever you want, and this is one area where you can have some flexibility. 
you can call this whatever you want and you can I used pop up right here as you can see over here on the right so this means that if you use another kind of pop-up somewhere else maybe you want to call it slide in which I have or like in content is what I call it like you can have it uh, a content upgrade after a paragraph or two or three or four or whatever you want so this can provide I'm going to show you how you can have maximum flexibility if you understand all this then you can just make it simpler from here so I'm going to go with record a custom event thrive custom field underscore and pop up click continue email and name it's better to have name above email but I'm just showing you how to do this I'm going to redirect to a custom URL um, not necessary it's better to have show a success notification um, and that worked for me once but I haven't seen that pop up lately I don't want to change it right now I want to show you what works so um, I'm just going to redirect to one of my other websites called divigenius.com now while I'm showing you this I click save um, we're going to actually test doing this like I have over here into one of my emails hang on God into this Cerberus Web 2 all right so you can see it's completely blank right now there's no new emails there on Cerberus Web 2 all right so we've got the setup as you just saw I set up the API connection with drip uh, drip also has a um, WordPress plugin which is also good to install and you can check that out as well uh, it's called when you get it, it'll say like email marketing 1.01 drip. So that'll help you do your tracking later. So I've got drip connected. We've got showed you this, and um, we should be good to go. I'm going to hit save here. And then I'm going to go into an incognito window and make sure there's nothing else I need to show you. It's about it for now. We'll just get this the test going right now. So I'm gonna hit incognito window control shift N. I'm gonna to go to immediate millionaire. Should pop up. Did we're gonna put in web two and we're gonna try Cerberus Web two at gmail.com. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to click sign up. Now, what that's going to do is connect over to Drip. Here, I said I was going to redirect to Divi Genius, and that's, it did do that. It redirected over there. So that's kind of one indication that things are starting to work, but not necessarily. So now we're going to go over here to drip and once I hit that button that's going to mean that's going to set uh, the custom field like I said over here and we know it's working because my prior test this is the Cerberus web 1 we're using Cerberus web 2 for this test which may or may not work but at least I got it to work with this so um, you can see that it got into drip it sent a custom field like I called it pop up also sent an IP address and the thrive refer was immediate millionaire.com that's the website that it came from and also the first name is Cerberus web one so I've got the name um, and I got my custom field so let's see if we have any new subscribers now sometimes this can take a while their servers web too. Now when it first came in it wasn't associated with any campaigns and it shouldn't be. But we're going to check these campaigns. That was another thing before you start trying to do this yourself obviously you need to have a campaign set up and this is just a test campaign. You can see who's in here C 
see, there's no Cerberus Web 2 in here. There's only the Cerberus Web 1 that worked before. Okay, what about the other campaign? Just in case to see if it got in here somehow. Now pay attention over down here at Cerberus Web 2 to see if something comes up. It took me 15 minutes. So check our subscribers here. No Cerberus Web 2. No. All right. So here's how I have it set up. We've got the Cerberus Web 2. At least they're in here. What I did was, and I set up a rule, which you may not have to do, and I set up a workflow under automation. So we may not need the rule, and because if you understand that triggers can set off workflows, like here, I'll show you. We're not going to use that workflow. This is the pop-up, right? Remember, it's pop-up to the five email series. Um, it's one of the uh, templates you can get. So this is a trigger. The brown ones are triggered to start the workflow. And then we're going to send the test campaign one campaign, which, as you saw, was over here. Test campaign one. It's got five emails. Let's take a quicker look. Just to familiarize you while we're waiting over here to see if Cerberus Web 2 comes through. Here are the emails. Right, just day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Right. Back over to automation. So to trigger the workflow, I choose to use a rule, but you may not need to do that. But I'm going to show you what I did and what worked. I'm going to click on this trigger. All right, so as you'll see, to set off the workflow, I applied a tag in the rule. So the rule was taking like updated custom field, which was this over here. Hang on. Let's see, they said updated a custom field and we called it thrive custom field pop-up so we applied a tag well let's see if we could have done it without applying a tag like updated a custom field updated a custom field so I may not need the rule but I didn't really realize that first we're just trying to get this thing working all right so what right now it's going to set off the workflow to send the emails to the servers web 2 is applying a tag once a tag gets applied, sent pop-up form, which will be in the rule, it's going to send test campaign one. So, so the subscribers in drip, right? Remember, servers web two is in drip. And it's got a rule going here. And there's only one rule to keep this all simple: trigger from pop-up to the workflow. So drip. Updated a custom field, like I showed you, Thrive. Custom field, make sure the spellings and everything's all correct, equals a pop-up. Oh, that's cool. Make sure it's still there. And then drip. The rule is going to apply a tag. Sent pop-up form. So you can have different tags, but anyway, um, to make a tag, I think you have to go into subscribers beforehand and here are the tags. You use a lot of different tags like requested pop-up form or requested slide in or whatever. Back to the rule. So once Cerberus Web 2 came like into Drip, you see this trigger applies to everyone. Okay. You updated a custom field. Could pop up. Drip. Action should we perform? Apply a tag. Apply a sent pop up form. So this automation workflow. Send them five email series. It's going to happen when they apply the sent pop-up form tag. 
apply the tag, send pop-up form, right on. And then we're going to send them the campaign, test campaign one. So that's how it all works. I didn't even use this. This is another way where you can try to say, um, was the custom field change equal to pop-up? So I don't even think we need to roll because we can just go here and say, you know, oh, updated a custom field. And then we have our choice of custom field. Sorry. Updated a custom field. I don't want to change any of this stuff right now because Drip is working on it. Uh, updated a custom field. And we do that, it will give us two areas right here where it will say Thrive Custom Field and pop up. So really, this is all I needed. I had to wait about 15 minutes for this to work. I'll run over it one more time uh, just to see that it's working and to explain that you, to explain, make sure that you know. Now let's see if we can update here anyway. Doubt it. Not yet. All right, so to run you through it again, you have to have um, a trip subscription. You can have a number of accounts under your one subscription. We're working in immediatemillionaire.com. And you have to have Thrive, Thrive themes, and you have to have um, you have to have Thrive Leads. So again, in Thrive Leads, we had set up the API connection to Drip. We made a new lead group. I just called it the pop-up. Made it display on desktop and mobile, and then all pages and posts just for testing here. Click close. Display after one second all the time for testing. When you're done testing, you will um, change that to once a day. Edit your design. This is where you have to set up exactly what you want it to do. Again, this is usually a lot faster. I have Camtasia recorder going. I click on the green button there or anywhere here and I'm set up with Drip. Chose to record a custom event. Remember, you can add to a campaign. That's more limiting. But you can subscribe to a campaign and I use, I've used one email in the campaign just to say thank you. And then you can trigger over here um, an automation workflow can be triggered by subscribing to a campaign and you can actually put them into a different campaign. So let me show you that. Let's just go here and check our triggers. Still looking down over here to the left to see if Cerberus Web 2 came through, but it took about 15 minutes, I tell you. So let's say they subscribe to a campaign. Let's see here, um, subscribe to a campaign. So if they subscribe to a campaign, whichever campaign that would be, then you could use that to start a workflow too. And then you could actually put them into another campaign. So that might be a lot faster way to do it, but um, then you've got to have like a holding campaign and then put them into another campaign. So record custom event, Thrive custom field, pop up is the field value. Right. Name, email, better have the, the name on top. And then we try success notification over here. And that will be saved. So make sure you hit save. All right. So that's all you need to save there. Going to hit the incognito window to do another show you again. Control Shift N. Going to go to Immediate Millionaire. Should pop up name. I'm just do it again for testing here. Mm 
looks good hit sign up when we hit sign up it's going to take us to divi genius or give us a success a success message or whatever so what that did that sent a updated a custom field in drip and so then we start applying that rule and remember we may not even need to rule because we can trigger the workflows um, by um, updating a custom field and the custom field is the um, thrive custom field whatever you want to call it and the value can be pop up so that way um, you know if you have a slide in the thrive custom field maybe it's called slide in or you know um, main main blog page in content Content upgrade. Keep it short, <laughs> really. All right. So we see if Cerberus Web Three is in here too. Yep, no Cerberus Web Three. So there was a way. Let's see what got sent. So I got a different looking screen before, but you can see the values are in here. The values pop up, Cerberus Web 3, IP address and where it came from. Go back to Cerberus Web 2 and see if I can find that for you. So you can see Cerberus Web 1. look for custom fields and yeah under activity so yeah so once it got going look I have all these the pop-up the IP address try refer is immediate millionaire first name and it started working on here submitted a thrive leads form got tagged as sent pop-up form and we started the workflow and they subscribed in the test campaign one and then actually received um, number one here so we can see here this is the email for Cerberus Web 1 that worked. Okay. And that's what they got. It's just that basic email that's never been updated. So I'm not going to keep you much longer. You can see it did work with Cerberus Web 1, and I didn't change anything else there. Um, we're waiting to see if it worked for Cerberus Web 2, which is already in here. And you got to wrap up and show you um, just to set up your Cerberus Web 2. Let's see if anything's going on with this. Like activity, I think it was, right? So I'm thinking it takes a while for Drip to get going on this. Um, Anyway, they've been tagged with all this stuff here, so we know that got from Thrive into Trip. Again, in the automation, I had set up a rule. There's a rule for making a new rule. I made a rule which said if they updated a custom field, this is the Thrive custom field equals pop up. Then they're going to apply a tag, which I called sent the pop-up form. Remember to make a tag, you have to go into subscribers and um, make a tag. All right, like see here, add tag. Anyway, back to the to rule. The rule 
is going to apply the tag to start the workflow. Okay, apply a tag, accept pop up form. This workflow, let's see over here. We're going to start by applying the sent pop up form tag. And then we sent the test campaign one. That's not Cerberus Web 2. Uh, so applying that tag started the workflow and started sending in the campaign. All right, so I don't want to keep you any longer. Um, I think I'll pause the video and probably wait, see if it comes through. Or maybe that's a good idea. Anyway, you get the basic idea. I've shown you twice. You get Thrive Leads. You get Sign Up with Drip. Uh, follow the video. You can pause it, rewind it, whatever, and get the setup. So there you go. This is Jeff at ExcaliburWebsites.com. I may or may not be back showing you that this got into Cerberus Web 2, the little demo that I was going to show you. Anyway, you can see that the, the leads, the tags did get into Drip. So thank you very much. This is Jeff at ExcaliburWebsites.com. Hello, this is Jeff at ExcaliburWebsites.com. It did take 55 minutes, that's slightly less than an hour, for that second email to be processed by Drip and, and to start sending the email campaign. So the first email took around 15, that's one five minutes. The second email and our test took almost an hour. So please be patient while Drip processes your email and makes the campaign happen for you. So thank you again. This is Jeff at ExcaliburWebsites.com.